What? <laughs> That's why he's no. with you. <laughs> It's I thought you'd there. like that, You're Ridge. bloody joking me. I thought you'd like that. We're going to move it out of the way. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, look at it. Wow. Lovely, isn't it? But it needs a lot of work, CI it? Club Sport. Estrel Blue. What oh do you think, then, Rich? Amazing. What a car. Beautiful car. Beautiful. Runs, car. runs good, look. Are you talking about bought it? I, I know. I believed you. I know. <laughs> It's too cheap. It's too cheap to not buy it. I'm glad because I, I want to buy this thing. I was like, well, I can save some money. Uh, Mind if I take it up and down the road? Yes. Only because I know how, how I have the same engine. And I want to know if it feels yeah. the same. It's lovely actually. It pulls nice and really? solid. Yeah. So I can't drive it hard up this road though. Right? Just not, it's not the sort of road to I'm do not that. I'm going to smash it. No, I know, but you I can't rev feel... up down the road. Right? I just want to. I told you that about 500 times. I'm not going to. Burn the clutch out. I just want to see if I can. Yeah, I know, but you can't reach so. Okay. You've got to let that go. Double issue, you've got the seat ones quite moved at the moment, John. Rich, and you've got short legs. John, what's, the, what's this flip phone all about? That is an OEM flip phone, it still works. What? No! Oh, me. This is lovely. This is lovely. That display doesn't work on this Steza. Really? Right, okay, so that's one thing you've got to fix. There's a million things, Rich. See, you're not going to be able to reach the pedals, are there? The Have seat. you only just got it back? Yes. So the engine's warm, okay. Yeah. Electric seats. I oh, know, I got it. I brought it back yesterday. They don't work? They, they they don't go forward or back. They go every other way, so but one of the motors or back. is gone. That's a shame. You won't be able to reach the pedals. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. It sounds really good, John. The errors have cleared and they're not coming back. They're all um, running two lean errors, like a, either a vacuum leak or... Yeah. Uh, you know you'd have the oil warning light come up on yours as yeah, well, Yeah, it does it. It's been doing it for the last 200,000 miles. So what's that, the oil pump? It's just think? a sensor. Just the it's sensor? It's literally just the oil pickup sensor, well, you just, the level you sensor. you the pressure's getting out of tolerance? No. If the pressure was wrong, it would be red. Yeah? That's when you know you've got problems. So just, it's just the sensor yeah. warning you. Yeah. Okay. Because I've got that as well. It, it's, it's never on at the start, but after five minutes it comes on. I've got airbag warning light as well. Yeah. I really like this a lot. <laughs> it's a lovely car. I've always wanted... Drives great. All the, Reg, it's been serviced to buggery in back. Yeah. It's been like serviced 14 times. In, no way. It's every like 10,000 time uh, miles it's been serviced. You know kind what? of. And the, and the arches are... There's a little bit of bubbling there, but I'm not worried about that. Bubbling there as well, but so that's not a problem. Ooh. That isn't good. So, oh, that's the engine management's come Indeed. on again. That's the rough idle problem. Oh, it's it's misfiring. misfiring yeah. I had that problem with my 330, it was a coil pack. Don't worry I, about that. It could be anything. It could, uh, could be so many things. Could be a vacuum leak, Reg. That's got to go, isn't it? Oh, really interesting that it suddenly started doing it though. After clearing the errors. Look at that bonnet. It's a good nick. It doesn't look like it's had a respray. No, that's the original it's paint. Like paint. The wing's not the same colour though, is it? Yep. All familiar territory in there. Yeah, it suddenly just kicked in, didn't it? The misfire. It looks like I ain't going to be able to save a penny now. So it's running, it's running lumpy now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's running lumpy. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's misfiring, you can feel it. Oh yeah, that's shit. Sure yeah. Can I? Can we? Can we take it for a quick bit? Yeah, we can. You can't drive it though, Reg. Okay. You can't reach the clutch for the starters. What's that? What you've got to watch out for is there's a white car over there, don't you yeah. blue stripes on it. <laughs> uh, do you want to do a swap? Cash my way. Cash your way, yeah, right. I'll tell you what I've got to say to that, Reg. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Hello, you can. 
That's Harvey, um, Jordan's. I know. Oh, let me, let me. Actually, it's interesting because I've just been talking about the hero. You look like a chav, John. Jesus. Sorry. It's all right. Um, this is beautiful, mate. I'll tell you what. It's interesting because it was the arrow was on before when I first got it and drove it home, but it was running smooth. Yeah. I cleared all the errors. I made a note of them all. I know what they are. In misfires, basically. Misfires on every bloody cylinder. Random cylinder misfires. Both banks running too lean. Um, but it ran fine. When the errors went out, now we started it back up, you suddenly heard it misfire, didn't you? So it's kicking in, so which is really strange. The fact that it suddenly runs wonky. I reckon it's a vacuum leak. It could be a vacuum leak. What, do you know how we can check that? We can... Um, Smoke test it. Ooh. Oh my God. It's, it's running seriously lumpy. Yeah. Like but seriously lumpy. It will sort itself out, I think. But I've had these issues before, my own 330. Yeah. He's had the the um, gasket cover thing, you know, the cam cover gasket done, which could be a place where the vacuum leaks. Oh yeah, it's not running right. Never done that. Yeah, it's misfiring. Oh, it's clutch I can really off. feel it at the moment. So I think what'll happen is it will sort. Uh, the clutch is alright. It's got a wide. Its bright point's quite high on it. It's good, brakes are good, it's got new pads, suspension's good, steering's lovely. Hey, um, this is a beautiful car. <laughs> See, oh, this misfire is a pain in the arse, man. Yeah. It wasn't doing this, so now I need this misfire to sort itself out. It won't sort itself out, you need to it fix will. it. No, it won't, it will. It will sort itself it's out. It's stall, idle control valve, could be the Deezer. Ah, that's what it could be. Could be the diesel valve. That you've got to do that quick, otherwise it could. If it if it breaks, it's, it's it could fall like, into the engine. It's been like this for years. Yeah, it's running really bad. Yes, it was. It was running with the error fine before, and then I cleared it. And now it's coming back. It it will sort itself out. Well, it could just be a dirty math as well. Could be a dirty math. The um. You know, it's more, I reckon it's the most likely candidate is going to be one of the intake elbows because those things fucking crack. Yeah. But you'd have thought he's had someone look at it, a professional garage, so they would have found that. So that makes me think it might be something a bit more obscure. I can't believe you bought it. So cheap. You want me to keep the camera rolling or can I? Yeah, uh... keep it rolling. <laughs> Honestly, I genuinely believed you when you. I, I was like, okay. It's starting to run better now. It's not. It is. It's still got that low rev misfire, but trust me, it'll go smooth again. It's fine. It's deep. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's not running. It wasn't it's running doing, on five cylinders. It wasn't doing this. That's okay. That's fine, right, because yeah. it's something that needs to be sorted, and it's. Yeah. You know, it's a little niggle. I'm going to take the intake apart maybe later on. Yeah. Look for the, look for the, look for a split, but it I can't be that. But it, there's no knocks or bangs. No, the suspension is amazing, Reg. Gearbox is okay. Clutch is alright. It's riding high. I'm not going to buck around with the clutch until it goes. Most of it, it's been really well maintained, even though it's been. The last owner, you know, hasn't he spent money on it, but he hasn't used it and he hasn't sorted all the niggles out on it. But it's been generally throughout its life, it's been really well maintained. It's so nice when, when you drive it around, there's so much power there for a, you know, for an old lady. Oh, fucking hell. Quite some nice alpine white uh, in my foot. Who's is that? Do you want to pop that? I'm going to have to leave this here. Yeah, you leave this here. Yeah. Right, so there you go, Reg. That, that video was Reg. Reg's reaction to a 140, what's it called? 330 CI. 330 CI club sandwich. spot. Club sandwich, yeah. <laughs> In Estoril Blue. Club sandwich. It's a beautiful car.